ba da ba 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 I'm watching it. <laughs> nah, this is kind of cricket. I feel like this is cricket, though. A little bit. A little bit. Well, anyway, it's your boy, D. Anthony, coming back at you. Need a haircut like a mug. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. But, uh, so, want to do this movie review. I want to start doing uh, some B-list stuff. Uh, so, I just watched this movie called Bottom of the World. came out 2017. Um, this is a pretty interesting movie. You watch the trailer, um, it's going to have you kind of intrigued because the trailer is like, they on this road trip and then this girl get took, but then he realized he's the one that's been taken, but it's a dream. It's like, what in the heck is going on? So I had to watch it and I thought I'd just review it for you guys just in case you want to see something a little different, you know? Um, so like I said, they're a couple, young couple. Um, they on this road trip to come into California for whatever reason I don't really know or remember maybe. But so they stop at this hotel. It's kind of a raunchy hotel, a uh, place I wouldn't want to stay. I'd be like, babe, we gonna have to go to a different hotel. You you can ride another thirty minutes to to an hour to get to a hotel. This one ain't gonna be it. Uh, so they get to the hotel, uh, and the first thing they kind of do to kind of get this, the the movie started off kicking off uh they play truth or dare and she asked him what was the most mess up thing you ever done and he was like i stole these two twinkies from the from the market down the street and you know just kind of joking and then he was like well what's the you know me the most mess up thing you ever done and she was like when i was young I had an auntie who had a son that was in a car accident that became a vegetable. And they used to let me watch him. And I used to dress him up in girls' clothes. I used to drown him in water. I used to leave him out in the rain. I used to choke him to death. I'm like, golly! <laughs> and then she was like, just kidding. And then they was all lovey-dovey. But he was like, what in the heck? Hell, who did I marry? No, but he was like, who is you? Who are you right now? Who is this that I'm with in this hotel? Because this is craziness. So they move on and um, they pretty much start the, the next day. They start on the road going to California and she gets sick. And she was like, turn back around. And I'm like, mm, I don't think I'm turning back around. But maybe when you in love, you do shit like that. I don't know. But say so turn back around to the hotel, and she goes to sleep. And uh, so then the next day they try it again. She gets sick again. It was like we gotta go back to the hotel. I'm like, bruh, we not going back to this hotel no more. You gonna have to uh, lay in the back seat as we go to California, cause we just can't keep we just can't keep going back to that raunchy hotel, and we backtracking, and we ain't got no deadline to meet. We ain't got no reason we out there in California. What's happening? So they go back again, and she's like, "Promise, promise me we gonna go to California tomorrow." I'm like, "What? What? <laughs> I can't promise you, cause you keep wanting to go back." If we, if you could just collect yourself, go to sleep in the car, we can get to, we can go right now. We could be in California right now. But anyway, that's just my thoughts as I'm watching it. So they try to go, oh no, he, he wakes up and she's gone. And then uh, he's trying to find her. And this dude in his hood mask, just walking around with a hood and a, a ski mask on. He ends up uh, saying, I know where she at, I'll help you find her. I'm like, bro, what are you doing? You can't be going here. You can't go with him with the ski mask on to find your girl. Call the police. He goes with him anyway. And they do some weird shit. I don't, I'm not going to tell everything. But I just want to tell you enough just, just so you be intrigued a little bit. Uh, and they come back and they see this preacher. Well, he he comes back. He doesn't. The, the man disappears. Uh, but he comes back and he goes to this church and 
the preacher shoots him in the head, and they're like, he's like, what do you think this is? I don't know, a dream? Yeah, I'm dreaming. No, you ain't dreaming. I'm like, well, is it a dream or not? But apparently, I won't say that part. So he's a shooter dude in the head, and he wakes up in a whole nother life. He's in this fancy house with a new girlfriend, and he's like, what in the hell is going on? But he was better than me, though, because I'd have been asking questions. Who are you? What's today's date? What is going on? Where am I at? I might have sounded crazy, but I wouldn't have been silent. Like, he was pretty silent. He was looking around, trying to, I guess, uh, take it all in. But me personally, if you know me especially, I'd have been like, where am I at? What's today's date? Where's the newspaper? Because I don't know where I'm at. I don't know who you are. You calling me babe. What's happening? So anyway, he finds out that their neighbors, him and his ex, are neighbors, or don't want to say ex, because he thinks he's still his girlfriend. But his girlfriend and his this new reality is his ex. No, not ex, but his neighbor. They don't even know each other. They don't know each other, and he's following her around, and then he ends up in her closet. I'm like. Bro, you doing a little much. But I guess if you, you, you don't know, you think you're going crazy. I guess you sneak up in the closet. So the dad busts in and he thought he was trying to rape her. Mostly because she said that. I'm not sure why she said that. But but anyway, uh, there's a lot of things that don't make sense in this movie. Um, and then he ends up like beating up the dad. I'm like, bro, you can't like just maybe get him off you. You got to like beat him down to the ground. Like, wow. And then he ends up backhanding her. Now, she did cut his face. She was just like, slice. And he had like that, uh, that Joker smile. Why so serious? Why so serious? <laughs> that's how he looks. I mean, that's exactly how he looked. I'm sorry. Uh, and then he ends up kidnapping her because he starts to believe that that story she told about the worst thing she ever did was true. Which, okay, I mean, that did that sound real intricate and very detailed and, like, you're not making it up. So I get it. But out of nowhere, he started believing that it was true. And it was not out of nowhere, but, you know, he just started believing it. And so he kidnapped her, and somehow they ended up at the old house that they used to, I guess, watch the, that watch the, uh, the boy at. And he starts digging a grave or digging up a grave like, is he up underneath here? And he finds a bone. It was like, this is his, this is his bone. And uh, somehow he ends up remembering that it was him. He just remember, I remember being buried. I'm like, bro, how do you remember being buried? Where is this coming from? So, but it, you know what? It was actually a good scene. I felt like it was the best acting in the whole actual uh, movie um, because they had like a little lifetime, little lifetime uh, feel to it in the middle. I'm like, oh, here we go. Here we go. That lifetime stuff. The bad acting. Those no stage presence actors. So it was, but it was brief. It was brief, <clears throat> but uh, it was still in there. And then. He ends up realizing it's him, and she gets him to kill her. And then she wakes up out the dream and dies. I'm like, what is happening? How is she in the dream, but he kills her in the dream, and she really dies in real life? What happened in real life? She, I guess she overdosed. But where did the preacher come in at? There's some things in this, in this movie that is just weird. And don't make any sense. I mean, it was different, but it was just off a little bit. I'm not sure what the director was trying to tell me. I feel like there was no moral to the story. And I kind of look for that, especially in like indie films. I need a moral to the story. This is just some crazy shit that happened in a dream, but in real life. I'm like, what? So, my opinion about the movie... It was different. It felt like an original story. I gotta start saying that because the last review we did, uh, we said it was original and it wasn't because it was a movie like that in 1970. Uh, but 
So it felt like an original story. <clears throat> um, I thought that the actors had good stage presence as far as in the at least the two, and they had good chemistry. Uh, love that chemistry, you know. Um, but the actual storyline, there was a lot of things I felt that just weren't necessary. It weren't import important to the story as far as like pushing it. But even because the father is a, is is ends up being the preacher that was you know that he went to go see that shot him in the head and I didn't understand why is the why is the father the preacher and why did he shoot him in the head and why why is he going through this journey why isn't the dream more about the actual girl who's dreaming I don't really have maybe it's just me I don't really have dreams about other people's experiences like I might be seeing myself from another person's point of view but I'm still the focus on in the dream so I just didn't I didn't really get it I mean there was like I said there was some lifetime moments where it just got real kind of cheesy um but there was some good acting at the end but the ending just wasn't strong to me I don't know I, I felt like it could be a little better but they did have some things and I guess this is if I had to sum it up it's her going through life with this guilt that she killed this boy that was a paraplegic or, you know, he was disabled. Um, it was her going through her life uh, trying to, I guess it was her killing herself was the way she atoned for her adolescence. Because she said she was a kid when she did it. So... You know, I guess she went all these years, of, you know, with this guilt. So if I had to sum it up, I think that's what it's about. But, I mean, there's no real moral to the story. I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to just leave it at that. I don't want to tell too much because there are some things in there that are kind of, kind of, kind of cool. And that kind of will throw your mind for a loop. But <clears throat> that's how I felt about the movie. Um, I'm going to let you guys be the judge. But if I had to rate it, um... I'm going to just do a rating 1 out of 5. I would probably give it 2.5, maybe 3. Uh, just because it's, it felt original. And there was some good acting as far as like, you know, being intense. Uh, like some drama. Um, it, it did have my mind wondering. I couldn't really figure it out. So it did have some intellectual value. But as far as like coming together full circle, uh, it kind of it kind of lacked a little bit. But I would say check it out. Alright guys, I'm your boy DeAnthony. Uh, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Take a look at some other stuff that we do uh, because we do this for you guys. So if there's something that you didn't like, let me know. I would definitely uh, take that criticism or I will reply back. Um, so if you dislike it, let me know why. If you like it, let me know why. All right, guys. I'm your boy, Anthony. I'm out. Peace.